Naperville is also waiting to see if state lawmakers will pass a multi-billion dollar spending bill. Governor Pat Quinn has been a big proponent of a capital bill that would fund construction projects at roads, schools and museums throughout the state. NCTV 17's Lindsay Thies tells us where that money might go and what those who are waiting on that money are saying. The stop and go, hurry up and wait traffic on congested Route 59 during rush hour is mirroring Springfield's action on a capital improvement bill. Governor Pat Quinn saying he won't sign any capital bill until lawmakers approve a budget that includes his proposed 50 percent income tax hike. But Naperville officials are depending on that capital bill to fund projects from the two school districts that serve Naperville to Naper Settlement to the DuPage Children's Museum to widening Route 59 to six lanes. If it doesn't happen now, it's not going to happen. Dan DeSantos with the city of Naperville. He told NCTV 17 that the Illinois Department of Transportation has spent nearly a million dollars on an engineering study. It's to prepare for the Route 59 expansion and they've been working on it over the past six years. But if Governor Pat Quinn doesn't sign the Capitol bill this year and include the Route 59 widening on it, the study will expire and they'll have to start all over again. Really, it's, it's in the governor's hands right now. So pathetic. It's a repeat of really what happened last year. Last summer, lawmakers faced a similar doomsday scenario where they were threatening to cut jobs or increase fares on public transportation. Now this year, State Representative Darlene Sanger says it's jobs that could come from construction if a capital bill is passed that are being put on hold. The longer the governor sits on that and keeps that from being signed, uh, the longer it's going to take for us to start, you know, doing what we want to do with the bill is to generate, you know, jobs and revenues again. I'm Lindsay Thies for Naperville Community Television, Channel 17. State lawmakers are funding the Capitol bill through an expansion of video gaming.